and now I want to go over some of the other core exponent properties, but they really just fall out of what we already know about exponents. Let's say I have two numbers, a and b, and I'm going to raise it to, I could do it in the abstract, I could raise it to the cth power, to the c power, but I'll do it a little bit more concrete. Let's raise it to the fourth power. What is that going to be equal to? Well, that's going to be equal to, that's going to be equal to, I could write it like this. Let me copy and paste this, copy and paste. That's going to be equal to AB times AB times AB times AB times AB. But what is that equal to? Well, when you just multiply a bunch of numbers like this, it doesn't matter what order you're going to multiply it in. So you could, this right over here is going to be equivalent to a times a times a times a times, we have four b's as well that we're multiplying together, times b times b times b times b. And what is that equal to? Well, this right over here is a to the fourth power, a to the fourth power, and this right over here is b, b to the fourth power, b to the fourth power. And so you see if you take the product of two numbers and you raise them to some exponent, that's equivalent to taking each of the numbers to that exponent and then taking their product. And here I just used the example with four, but you could do this really with any arbitrary, you could do this with actually any, actually any integer, or actually any, any exponent you can actually this property holds. And you could satisfy yourself by trying different values and using the same logic right over here. But this is a general property that, let me write it this way, that if I have a to the b, a to the b to the c power, that this is going to be equal to a to the c, a to the c times b to the c, times b to the c times b to the c power. And we'll use this throughout, actually, mathematics when we try to simplify things or rewrite an expression in a different way. Now let me introduce you another core idea here. And this is the idea of raising something to some power, and I'll just use the example of three, and then raising that to some power. What could this be simplified as? Well, let's think about it. This is the same thing as a to the third, this is the same thing, let me copy and paste that, is a to the third times a to the third. Is a to the third times a to the third. And what is a to the third times, so this is equal to a to the third times a to the third, and that's going to be equal to a to the three plus three power. We have the same base, and, we, and so we would add, and they're being multiplied, they're being raised to these two exponents. So it's going to be the sum of the exponents, which of course is going to be equal to a, a to the, that's a different color, a. It's going to be a to the sixth power. A to the sixth power. So what just happened over here? Well, I had, I had two, I took two a to the thirds and I multiplied them together. So I took these two threes and added them together. So this essentially right over here, this right over here, you could view this as two times three. This right over here is two times, two times three. That's how we got the six. When I raised something to one exponent and then raised it to another, that's equivalent to raising the base to the product of those two exponents. I just did it with this example right over here, but I encourage you, try other numbers to see how this works. And I could do this, I could do this in general. I could say a to the b power, and then let me copy and paste that. So copy, and then I'm going to raise that, and I'm going to raise that to the c power. I'm going to raise that to the c power. Well, what is that going to give me? Well, I'm essentially going to have to take c of these. So one, two, three. I don't know how large of a number c is, so I'll just do dot, dot, dot. So dot, 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 I have C of these right over here. So that's what, so I have C of these, so there's C of them right over there. So what is that going to be equal to? Well, that is going to be equal to A to the, well, for each of these C, I'm going to have a B that I'm going to add together. So let me write this. So I'm going to have a B 
plus b plus b plus dot 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 plus b. And now I have c of these b's. So I have c b's right over here. Or you could view this as a. This is equal to a to the c times b power. c or a, you could view a to the c b power. So very useful. So if someone were to say, what is, what is 35 to the third power, and then that raised to the, to the seventh power, well, this is going, obviously going to be a, a huge number, but we can at least simplify the expression. This is going to be equal to 35 to the product of these two exponents. It's going to be 35 to the 3 times 7, or 35 to the 21, or to the 21st power.